there cancer welcome to healing guys tarot this is going to be your december 2021 bonus love reading for sun moon rising and venus signs okay let's see what's going on Ooh. so in the past you had the strength to walk away from something that probably was no longer fulfilling and it brought you into your empress energy here we have leo here and empress we have um libra taurus energy but this feels like something was just no longer fulfilling you it's just you know you're you took your cup and you went away <laughs> it's like you said i'm gonna take my cup elsewhere this is not working and it probably took a lot of strength to do that but this is like you deserve better you deserve better than what you receive in there and I mean the Empress, it's abundance. Nice. Okay, let's see here. Whoa, right now you have someone anxious coming in quick to contact you, a lot of communication back and forth, wanting to work on something with you could be someone from the past or it could be someone brand new but they want to put the work in they're they're asking you would you be willing to put the work in in this relationship i think we have a chance here they have a lot of feelings for you a lot of passion for you aries leo sagittarius but there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication and very fast movement this person moves quickly it's like they want to put the work in they thought about this for a while too whether or not you would be consider this i think they have been wanting to do this but they they're not sure about if you would put the time and effort in if you would want to put the time and effort in. let's see what else we have okay you're trying to make a decision wow i'm liking that outcome but whatever you decide here i don't think you go wrong either way you might have someone else um interested in you but you're it's going to come out with the ten of cups a lot of happiness a lot of emotional fulfillment and you're destined for whatever you're deciding here divine time of destiny oh look at this and um i feel this is this person waiting for your answer they're like okay cancer what is cancer going to say i'm waiting i'm waiting and you're over there saying okay i'm trying to decide looking at your globe here saying oh how will this turn out i almost feel like they're looking at this globe like it's a crystal ball what is what do i see here what is coming <laughs> all righty let's see okay now let's clarify these cards here why do we have this eight of cups over here yeah this this past situation you were doing all the giving and they were doing all the taking and you get tired of it it depleted your energy and that's what happened there's not a even give and take it depletes the energy of the person that's always given you can't you have to have something energy is an even exchange if you don't have an even exchange it depletes you okay now let's see why do we have the strength card here yeah this was not an easy decision for you to make you felt trapped for the longest time but you got up the strength i don't know if they were hard to walk away but if they uh, put up a fuss they, there might have been some arguments or and you had to get the strength to face this so but you did you got the lion there you got the strength card you got the the strength to do it and then why do we have the empress here wow well this brought you into um i, I almost feel like this brought you into a, a commitment with yourself honoring yourself there's this is feels to me like it's you knew you could have a long-term commitment with someone else once you honored yourself how could you be in a situation where you were letting someone take advantage of you um depleting your energy so this brought you into union with yourself very beautiful loving yourself is is how you can have love for someone else so now others are feeling that and we got this nice little knight of wands come running in here like, ooh, cancer's available. I gotta go see cancer. Okay, now let's see. Whoa. They feel a, a connection with you. They might be um, 
I'm getting like a tingly feeling when they think about, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they get a tingly feel when they think about you here. But the high priestess. So there's a spiritual connection they feel with you. They they there's no no one else like you. And they're feeling that. You by guys might be connected on the fifth dimension. And they're anxious to get close to you. Wow. Okay, so now we why do we have the eight of wands here? Uh oh. <laughs> Well, once the news got out that you're free, <laughs> here they come. Okay, now we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, you have two feeling this energy. <laughs> okay, they're coming. This one's a slower one. This is a Playboy Playgirl, and this is um, more steady, reliable. You know, that's why you have to make a decision here. Because <laughs> you got two. You got two of these knights coming. All, all suited up in their armor. <laughs> They're ready to battle it out for you. Okay, now, why do we have the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh, no. Well, at least that's another Knight of Wands. Is this a, I don't know if this is... Do you have two... Okay, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you might have two fire signs. Hmm. This person could be a past person. This one's facing the past. And now they're I think that's what it is. This this is a new person. If that makes sense to you guys. And this is a past. So that's why they're running fast. They might have been waiting and waiting and waiting for you to be free. And now they're coming in real quick because they know that you're gonna attract others. That's what it is. This is the past coming back. So now they're looking forward to the future to working with you. And then we have this one that's new here. Okay. So now your decision time for the future. Why do we have the two of wands? We know why we have the two of wands. Because you got two guys here. Two girls here. Whichever the case may be. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. A lot of passion here. They either use, they see you as being very passionate, desirable, charming, or is there someone's energy here? Unless you have another one. Oh, please tell me no. <laughs> These get draining when you get too many people coming in. What about the um, Ten of Cups here? Yeah, I would say you're you're in hangman mode here because you you have to see things. Um, you have to weigh your pros and cons. Which is the best one for you? So you're gonna you're gonna take a time out. You have to. You have to. You can't just rush into this decision. So by taking time out, you're gonna see things in a new perspective. You're gonna see things differently. You might you have time to watch these people and see how they act and how they react and how like even. How are how is their patience with you not making up your mind right away? You know, that's a, a sign too. If someone's like, okay, and they're patient about it and they're, they're nice to you. But if they get like mean, you're not going to run to that meanness. You're going to run away from that meanness. I mean, you can't let them, you can't have them hanging forever either though. That's not right. But wait, you know, you can't rush into anything and you can't have, you can't leave anybody hanging. Okay, what about this Wheel of Fortune? Ooh. What I'm getting is that person's coming back around to fix this broken heart. This could have been a third party situation. Oh, we have the devil here. Okay, so there was something that interfered with this relationship that caused a lot of havoc. And I'm looking at the three of swords with the devil. I think it was a third party. Now, I'm feeling more like, yeah, they're cheating. But for some, some of you, it might just be other people getting involved and... You know, or a situation broke you up, which could be like work. If someone's always working or it's, or gambling or has some kind of vice that broke you guys up, that could be for some. But for, I'm feeling stronger that it is a situation where someone cheated and now they regret it and they want to come back. Let's see what else we have here. But this King of Wands here, not too sure who that is. You know, let me throw a couple cards, see if we get anything on this. Who is this King of Wands? 
Who is this King of Wands? What is his what is this card doing here with this two of wands? <laughs> oh, just what we need another one. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the Star, which is Aquarius. And then we have the Magician, which could be Aquarius and Aries. And then we have this King, who could be another. So there could be Aries here strong, could be Aquarius here strong. And um, Sagittarius and Leo. So I almost feel like they're seeing you as this energy here. Male or female, it doesn't matter. They, you're the catch. You're the, you're very appealing. You're very sexy. You're very um, creative. And they see you because you're able to manifest things here. This is the star standing out, getting attention, and able to manifest whatever you desire here. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here too. Very nurturing, loving, caring. Okay, now let's see what else we get. Hi. <laughs> Okay, Scorpio, death, rebirth. That's this person. Oh, judge. That definitely is person come back. This is very strong. This person that's here and here. I mean, they ain't gonna be here, I guess. They're coming in very strong for you. I think they're this whatever happened here in the past. It did break your heart, and I think they think about you all the time. They know that you know they. It's up to you, and they know you have other choices, and they're thinking about you day and night. Judgment, Scorpio energy here. Death, rebirth. They hope and they can bring this back around. They hope they could change your mind. This is transformation. This is major transformation going on in your life. No matter what you do here, there's going to be a, a significant major change in your life. And having this judgment here, that's it's up to you. You have to decide. But the universe brought this back to you to take another look at it. Now, if there's someone that was really very nasty to you, then this is not for you. This person really cares. They messed up. Now, for some of you, it won't be like a, a relationship that they cheated. It could be that other people got involved or they split you up. So don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. Queen of Cups. And I think they see you as very loving, nurturing, and very intuitive. Able to tap into the... You know, that's what really scares them, though. This person in the past, they say, How does cancer know these things? How do they <laughs> How do they know what I'm doing? I almost feel like they could know what I'm thinking. And then they're, they're looking at what they blew here with this Five of Cups. They, they messed it up. So now they're coming back quick. Here we have the Knight of Swords. They're come flying back. They're coming back with two fastest knights. You have the... The Knight of Wands, and we have the Knight of Swords. Could also be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini come back to you. So take it as it resonates. It's going to be different for different people, but they are coming in quick. They want to talk. Ooh, really quick. <laughs> Cancer energy. The chariot. This is going to be flying here. And they might be leaving a situation to come towards you. They might be leaving a, a commitment here because they want a commitment with you. But they might be leaving a marriage or um, someone they, they live with, someone, you know, a serious commitment because they want to have it with you. Yeah, this person's serious. And then you have other people coming around, they know it. So they want to hurry up before they lose out. Okay, magician, they're trying to manifest this with you. It's a tower, and they might, they're going to come in suddenly. Oh my gosh, yes, the person from the past. This person is going to surprise you when they come in. Or something they say, something they do, something's going to surprise you. And they want victory. And they're, they're going to, they're going to woo you. They're going to woo you big time. Because they feel like you're their connection here. You're their soulmate. They want this connection bad. <laughs> And they see you, you might also be famous for, or become famous or, or getting attention here with the Six of Wands. Alright, let's see what signs we're dealing with for you guys. Virgo. Aries. Scorpio. 
Capricorn. Oh, I didn't say Cancer here. This is your sign, too. Uh, I tell you, this energy, I feel fuzzy from this reading. I don't know why. I feel like I'm really fuzzy. <laughs> Cancer, there you are. And Aquarius. Okay. So these are the signs you can be dealing with. You can have placement in your chart. They got placement in their chart. But you do have a few people here. And I tell you, the energy is... My head is really spinning right now. It's like... It might be tapping into your future energy how you're going to try to decide what to do here because it feels like i feel really com very confused <laughs> and that's i think i'm picking up on what you're going to be feeling here <sighs> but you have all these signs they could be placements they could I, I don't even know how to finish my the reading right now it's like whoa okay guys <laughs> so please let me know if this resonates and um i i'm just going to thank you for your likes your share your subscribes because my head is spinning <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much. Hope to see you again real soon.